Good day, everyone. This is uh, Chris at the Ancient Scholar. I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. I've been obviously rather busy uh, with work and school, but I thought I'd uh, post a really quick video, something kind of interesting that I just uh, uh, saw as an update on a, on a blog um, through the Society of Critical Care Medicine. Um, and this is really really interesting uh, respiratory wise, and uh, basically it um, talks about um, ARDS or adult respiratory distress syndrome. And basically the way we've defined ARDS is we've uh, been using the uh, 1994 uh, American European um, consensus, um, um, the way of def defining how, uh, how we clinically define, uh, clinically and, and uh, radiologically and laboratory-wise, um, how we define uh, ARDS. And we really haven't had any uh, updates to that definition uh, since uh, 1994. Um, as, and it looks like in February of 2012, this year, uh, there's a new definition that appears to be uh, becoming very popular. Um, and it is a bit more specific in how uh, ARDS is, is diagnosed. And uh, this is known as the uh, Berlin definition. Um, I, I believe this is of Berlin, Germany, is, is, is a reference of, of where this, this came out of. And it really looks at four, uh, diff there are four different components to diagnosing ARDS according to the Berlin definition. Uh, the first component looks at time, and basically they say uh, that the, the ARDS um, typically develop within about one week of uh, the insult, of some sort of insult that could be uh, you know, traumatic, toxicological, um, infectious, uh, etc. But but typically uh, this will develop within one week. Um, the second uh, concept is uh, radiographically bilateral chest o opacities. Um, you know, be it uh, you know white out ground glass appearance, etc. Uh, but they have to have bilateral chest opac opacities, not fully explained um, by effusions, um, uh, lung collapse, nodules, etc. Um, the third uh, point that they look at is a respiratory failure, and is respiratory failure not uh, fully attributed to uh, a cardio, uh, cardiac failure, heart failure, or uh, fluid overload. And then the fourth one looks at the PF ratio, that is the um, ratio of the PaO2, little a to O2, the arterial oxygen, um, arterial oxygen pressure. Um, over the FiO2, the fraction of inspired um, oxygen that the patient is on, and it says that the PF ratio is less than 200 or less than 100 with a, a PEEP of greater than 5 centimeters of water. Um, these uh, four specific things are the, the four primary components of the Berlin definition of diagnosing uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome. Okay, guys, I'm going to cut it off here. Hopefully you found that uh, interesting. And as always, thanks for hanging in there.